Welcome our dear audience viewing this video wherever you are. We are students of third preparatory of Monarchy Longness Language School and we would like to introduce you all basic health and safety measures to get through the school year during the pandemic while keeping yourself and everybody around you safe. In our school, we apply all the precautionary measures. In the morning, all the students and the school staff get their temperatures measured on the school gates. Keep the safe social distance in the morning line while going up and down the stairs inside the classrooms. We also apply the healthy ventilation inside the classroom by keeping the doors and the windows open all the time. COVID-19 is the first pandemic since 2009. The coronavirus is so hard to cope with and quite easy to get infected by. It's not that dangerous for kids, but they could be carrying it and then spread it to their family and friends. If you're not dangerous about yourself, then you should be afraid about your family and others, especially others, because it will affect them the most. Scientists are working with speed to create a vaccine that will protect us from the virus by the end of 2020. Most people, about 80%, recover from the disease without needing special treatments. Children and young adults from 20 to 30 years old usually have more minor symptoms. Coronavirus is still floating over. There are still countries dealing with the pandemic and there is still here the second wave. The number of infected people goes up and down repeatedly, but the virus is still around and is not less deadly or less infectious. So we have to keep our distance, wear masks, and use hand gel, use up and everything we touch to stay safe. This is your guide for how to wash your hands correctly or properly. Firstly, apply your soap or hand sanitizer. Secondly, let's begin with the steps. Palm to palm, then front to back into locking on both sides, then palm to palm into locking. On both sides, clasp and rub on both sides also. Then clean your thumbs, palm circles on both sides. Clean your wrists, and then you are good to go. Push not wear a face mask. Children have been dead years old, and anyone who has stopped breathing, and anyone who is unconscious or otherwise you to remove the mask without. How should a face mask be worn? Always use hand sanitizer before touching the face mask. Remove the mask from the box and make sure it does not have any holes. Make sure you determine which side is the front and which is the top of the mask so you can properly wear the mask. Put the mask all over your nose, mouth and chin. What you going to do with the face mask? Don't touch the front of the mask and don't use the mask. Researchers have found that coronavirus can survive on plastic and stainless steel for up to 3 days. You have to go wash your hands every time and also before eating and after eating you will have to use a tips to stay safe. Firstly, avoid touching any surface with your bare hands or your fingertips because your fingertips is the part of your hands which can transmit the virus easily. Uh, secondly, uh, grab a tissue box with you everywhere you go because you can grab anything with a tissue and open the door with the tissue. Um, uh, grab alcohol and uh, hand sanitizer with you ev uh, everywhere you go. Uh, disinfect and clean everything you touch. Uh, clean your hair with uh, soap and water after you come out from the break uh, before touching your face, uh, before touching if, uh, anything other people have touched. In sanitizing, the percentage of alcohol should be 70%, neither more nor less. And then go uh, for all types of sanitizers, such as just or rapid alcohol. How should you sanitize? It's all just like with the people washing your hands. First of all, apply the alcohol. Then rub it between your fingers, and then rub your fingers in your palms, and then finally all over your wrist. When should you sanitize? You should sanitize before and after touching any surface, before eating, and before wearing your mask. Also remember to sanitize your hands if you had to handshake with someone before and after it, but keep in mind that you should maintain social distance. Also called physical distancing means keeping a safe space between yourself and other people who are not your household. To practice it, stay at least six feet, about two arms length from other people in both indoors and outdoors spaces. It should be practiced in combination with other everyday preventive action to reduce the spread of COVID. I practice social distancing. COVID-19 spreads mainly among people who are in close contact for a long period. Spread habits with an infected 
infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks, and droplets from his mouth or nose are launched into the air in mouths and noses of people nearby. The droplets can be also inhaled into the lungs. Recent studies indicate that people who are infected and don't have any symptoms also play a role in the spread of COVID-19. Since people can spread the virus before they know it's sick, they are sick, it's important to stay at least six feet away from others, even if you or they don't have any symptoms. Ventilation is important as wearing a mask, and maybe it's even more important if we left distance between each other in order not to spread the pandemic, the number of positive cases will decrease. At school, we should open the windows and turn on the fans. At break time, ventilation is better than closing the Closing the windows in class and just opening the fans because the fan spreads the air and the splash of water and spreads them all over the place. Due to the presence of coronavirus in summer 2019, so most of people want to open the air conditioner, and we know that the air conditioner can spread the virus. So we, might, we should clean its filter every 12 hours to protect us. And after a period of time, we should open the windows to change the air room. What do you do if you feel that you have coronavirus? First, stay at home and don't go to school. Second, get rest and dehydrated. Third, call the nearest hospital for emergency. Four, cover your cough and sneeze. Fifth, wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Six, stay at a separated room from the other people at home and use private bathroom. Seven, avoid sharing your personal items with the other people at home like dishes and towels. Eight, put alcohol on everything before and after you touch. And now, I'm going to tell you the difference between COVID-19 and influenza. COVID-19 and influenza are caused contagious with breathy illness, and they are caused by different viruses, as COVID-19 is caused by the infection with a new coronavirus, and flu is caused by the infection with influenza, and there are some key differences between them, such as COVID-19 spread more easily than flu, and it also causes more serious illness in some people, and because there are some symptoms between them are similar, so it's hard and difficult to tell the difference between them based on the symptoms. And testing may be needed to confirm a diagnosis. And the most common symptoms that influenza and COVID 19 share include like light fever, light sneezing, light cough, light headache, light shortness of breath. And the other symptoms of COVID 19 different from flu may be include the change of loss or uh, of taste or smell. And uh, the virus can spread from a person to another, both one day or more than day that can pass between a person becoming infected. And one of the most important differences between them is that the serial interval for COVID-19 is estimated by 5 or 6 days, but for influenza it is estimated by 2 or 3 days. And that means that the influenza is spread more faster than the COVID-19. And there is also one thing, that there is a vaccine against the influenza, but there is not a vaccine against the COVID-19.